In 2024, at the youthful age of 35, Ibrahim Traoré assumes the role of one of the world's youngest heads of state, leading Burkina Faso with unwavering dedication and determination. Despite his youth, Ibrahim Traoré demonstrates a firm commitment to overcoming challenges and spearheading vital changes for the nation's progress. His passion for positive transformation serves as a true inspiration. During his tenure, he has launched several projects for the advancement of Burkina Faso, while also ensuring the continuation of ongoing endeavors. In today's report, we delve into his visionary leadership, highlighting both his innovative initiatives and the continuation of existing projects. Let's explore some of Ibrahim Trohore's significant development and construction projects, including those already completed. Firstly, we have the Ouagadougou Airport Construction Project. Under President Ibrahim Trohore's administration, Burkina Faso is currently undertaking a substantial endeavor that is expected to have a profound impact on the nation's economy. The construction of a brand new airport in Ouagadougou. To finance this monumental project, the West African Development Bank and ECOS Bank have granted loans amounting to an astounding $61.8 million to President Ibrahim Traoré's administration. By 2024, it is projected that this project, with an estimated cost exceeding $420 million, will be completed. Perhaps the most exciting news is the anticipation of creating approximately 5,000 new job opportunities for the residents of Burkina Faso as a result of this new airport's construction. Once operational, the new airport will significantly enhance the movement of people and goods in and out of the nation. Consequently, this is expected to attract new investments and businesses, thereby benefiting the overall economy. The terminal building is designed to accommodate up to 1.5 million passengers annually. Undoubtedly, this new airport will become a valuable asset for the nation, facilitating both domestic and international travel in the years to come. On November 23, 2023, President Ibrahim Traoré laid the foundation stone for Burkina Faso's first gold refineries. Developed in collaboration with the local gold company Marina Gold, the refinery will have the capacity to process 150 tons of gold annually and is projected to create over 5,000 indirect jobs in addition to 100 direct positions. Furthermore, a jewelry store will be established within the refinery. Local gold processing is becoming a growing trend among African mining nations with Mali also considering the construction of a refinery. Despite being one of the poorest countries in Africa, Burkina Faso is taking significant steps to refine its gold resources. The next initiative focuses on the modernization of the country's entire road network. With Burkina Faso's commitment to progress, the nation is now focusing on enhancing its road infrastructure through investments in road construction and restoration projects under the leadership of President Ibrahim Traoré. These initiatives, which encompass the construction of new roads, widening existing ones, and transforming gravel roads into paved surfaces, aim to improve the quality and connectivity of Burkina Faso's road network. The importance of cross-border roads cannot be overstated as they not only connect Burkina Faso with neighboring countries, but also promote regional trade. This year, we anticipate the completion of a significant road development project, the Wagadougou G. Basso Highway. Stretching across 343 kilometers, this roadway will connect the Jasa region in the north to Agadougou, the capital city. Additionally, the construction of the Wagadougou Zamaro Highway and the Wagadougou Kaya Highway are notable endeavors contributing to the country's road infrastructure. In rural areas, the Burkina Faso government also aims to construct new roads and renovate existing ones. These initiatives are set to improve the living standards of residents in these areas, making their daily lives safer and more enjoyable. The people of Burkina Faso are eagerly anticipating these improvements as the nation's road system undergoes a transformative phase of development. The Zagili Solar Park 
is another remarkable project gaining momentum in Burkina Faso. Taking advantage of the country's abundant sunshine, there has been a surge in renewable energy projects, with a particular emphasis on solar energy. The Zagili Solar Power Facility, boasting an impressive capacity of 33 megawatts, stands as a testament to this progress. Furthermore, Burkina Faso is exploring the potential for biovis and biomass initiatives that harness energy from agricultural waste. These steps not only reduce reliance on fossil fuels, but also contribute to mitigating climate change and fostering sustainable economic growth. Burkina Faso is committed to achieving its renewable energy goals and laying the groundwork for a sustainable and prosperous future. The Sandini Dam project has long been a symbol of both opportunities and challenges for Burkina Faso. After years of delays and obstacles, this ambitious undertaking aims to improve water access and provide hydroelectric irrigation, potentially transforming the region. The dam is nearing completion and its inauguration is scheduled for 2024. Since President Ibrahim Traoré assumed office in September 2022, his government has made it clear that completing the project is of paramount importance. These ventures demonstrate Burkina Faso's unwavering dedication to progress and development under the leadership of President Ibrahim Traoré, as the nation strives to create a brighter future for its people. Taking swift action, President Ibrahim Traoré has demonstrated his commitment to ensuring the timely completion of the Sandini Dam project by providing additional resources and exerting pressure on contractors to expedite their work. His objective is to bring the benefits of the dam to the residents of Burkina Faso as soon as possible. Once construction is finalized, the Sandini Dam will have a significant impact on the nation's agriculture. It will provide irrigation for over 100,000 hectares of land, leading to a substantial increase in agricultural output and bolstering food security throughout the country. Additionally, the dam will generate power reducing Burkina Faso's dependence on imported electricity. Moreover, the project will create employment opportunities for the local population, underscoring President Ibrahim Traoré's commitment to addressing the needs of the people. In another noteworthy endeavor, the Wadidugu High-Speed Train Project aims to connect the capital cities of Burkina Faso and Ivory Coast over a distance of 1,150 kilometers. This ambitious undertaking seeks to transport more than 5 million passengers and 10 million tons of freight annually, dramatically reducing travel time from 36 hours to just 6 hours. The project holds great promise for sustainable development, trade, tourism, and regional integration. Burkina Faso and Ivory Coast have collaborated closely, signing an agreement in 2021 to ensure the successful completion of the Ouagadougou high-speed train project. President Ibrahim Traoré's commitment to agriculture and rural development is evident in the launch of the Agricultural Transformation Programme. This comprehensive initiative aims to revitalize the agricultural sector by enhancing food security, increasing agricultural productivity, and generating employment opportunities. The program encompasses various facets, including providing farmers with improved fertilizers and seeds, offering training and technical support, and improving the marketing of agricultural products. Recognizing the significance of irrigation infrastructure and water conservation in mitigating the impact of drought, the program includes the construction and renovation of irrigation systems and water harvesting infrastructure. Furthermore, it emphasizes the development of rural areas including the establishment of marketplaces, storage facilities, and the construction and maintenance of rural roads. These initiatives aim to facilitate transportation, minimize crop losses, and connect farmers to markets. The Agricultural Transformation Program has garnered support from national and international organizations, providing financial assistance, technical expertise, and knowledge sharing to ensure its success. The remarkable effects of President Ibrahim Trohore's Agricultural Transformation Program 
are already evident among farmers and communities, making it a true game-changer for the agricultural industry. The program's comprehensive approach is driving positive change and bringing about a brighter future for Burkina Faso's agricultural sector. Introducing the Ouagadougou Museum of Civilizations, an initiative that aims to enrich Burkina Faso's cultural and historical heritage. Nestled in the Zona district, near the international airport, on a sprawling 10-hectare plot of land, the museum will feature a main building spanning 12,000 square meters. Inside, visitors will find exhibition halls, instructional spaces and reserves, while the surrounding area will house auditoriums, laboratories, and a landscape park adorned with sculptures, installations, and performances. The Museum of Civilizations of Ouagadougou seeks to become a vibrant center for creativity, remembrance, and dialogue, showcasing the diverse and abundant cultural legacy of Burkina Faso. In a groundbreaking achievement, Burkina Faso launched its first artificial satellite, the Burkina Sat-1, as part of the African Space Program in 2023. Weighing less than 10 kilograms, this nanosatellite orbits 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Its primary objective is to gather crucial data on various vital subjects, including the environment, agriculture, safety, health, and climate. However, the significance of the Burkina Sat-1 extends beyond data collection. It symbolizes Burkina Faso's determination to establish its digital sovereignty, advance its scientific and technological capabilities, and emerge as a prominent player in space innovation and technology. Burkina Faso's remarkable progress over a short period demonstrates its ambitious vision for the future. In addition to implementing a wide range of reforms aimed at enhancing the nation, President Ibrahim Traoré has made combating terrorism a top priority. His leadership sets an inspiring example for other African leaders, urging them to work collectively toward global improvement. We invite you to share your thoughts on these developments by leaving a comment below. Don't forget to give this educational video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. We value your time and look forward to bringing you more exciting videos soon.